Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to get notified every time I upload. But I'm gonna be going through some of the things I like to take with me when I travel. This will be a bit of a haul video and it's also gonna be a bit sporadic because some of the items in this video are not really for my travel plans, which I will go through. I actually filmed an entirely different concept of a video yesterday. But when I was editing it last night, I realized I absolutely hated the video and it just it wasn't acceptable. I'm gonna have to include little snippets of unboxings of what I bought in that. It'll just be a big unboxing, but the main idea of it is a holiday haul. Of course, Dubai's in lockdown, so we're not really doing a proper staycation. We're just actually popping a few minutes down the road to a nice resort to just spend a few days in one of their most amazing villas. This is not sponsored, so I will not be vlogging. And I know that a lot of you guys love these vlogs. This time away with our mum, we like to just relax. And she also just wants to like unwind, be herself, take off her scarf. And if I've got my camera on constantly, it's not really enjoyable for her. And she just has to like hide away all the time and obviously I want her to live her best life. A lot of people ask me this, like how do we go on holiday when our mum covers, like does she sit outside in the heat with like all of it on? No. But the good thing about Dubai particularly is like their hotels actually accommodate to women who cover and what we usually do because when we go on holiday we want to relax, we don't want to be surrounded by children, randoms, particularly now more than ever so we like to just rent the private villas. We do this literally every holiday and it's like we have our own little house away from home. The only thing missing is the pets. Let's get straight into it. Of course, when you go on holiday, the first thing you need is luggage. Louis Vuitton is my go-to for luggage, and this is something I already have, but it's in London, so a little disappointed. However, as you guys already know, I do love to repurchase things, particularly because I live all over the place. It's nice to have my basics in both places and not have to worry about lugging them around with me. I basically left my duffel in London because I didn't think I'd be in Dubai for that long, nor did I expect to actually go on a staycation here. So I picked up just the classic monogram in 45. They hot stamped it for me, which was nice. I'm not a huge fan of the ballad situation. I think that is like so high school. I used to be obsessed with it and now I just look at it and I'm like, no. So I have my initials hot stamped in gold. It's my favorite color and I got the big one just so I know that it's mine because my sister has the exact same one and we tend to fight over these. I went for this one, again, the exact same that I already have because I just love the way that the leather gets this beautiful honey patina over time. I think it looks so amazing. And also, I don't like the way the Damier leather on the handles is finished. It feels kind of plastic. I do have a big suitcase like that, but I just, I don't like it. I just feel like it looks really cheap and it just doesn't feel as nice. Whereas this, in the sun, once it's like tanned, looks great. This is literally the most perfect weekender bag. So if you guys are looking for an overnight bag or a weekend bag, you're slightly trying to move into your boyfriend's house, start with one of these. Just take it home every time you go and just end up bringing more stuff. Oh, the straps inside. I don't like the smell of fresh Louis Vuitton. It's not the best. Since we're going to like a resort, but we're gonna be in our own little secluded villa, I don't really have a reason to have going out clothes. I'm not going anywhere apart from to bed, to shower, and to the pool slash beach. What I do like to do is pack a few cute outfits just in case you wanna do outfit pictures. In my previous video, when I was doing a what's in my bag of my Hermes Birkins, I wore this beautiful Hermes scarf. Oh, I think this is from their newer collection. I don't actually know the exact style name. They are my favorite thing to wear on holiday, like just wrapped around me as like a skirt or as like a little dress, just tied up as a top. And I will be doing a tutorial on how I wear them as tops for sure, because I know a lot of you guys asked. Although there are so many on the internet, if you guys want to see how I like to tie them, then I'll definitely do a video on that. Of course, I'm gonna take my petite trousers with me. These are my favorite go-to trousers. Honestly, the most perfect fit. They're just so airy and breezy. I love a wide leg pant, particularly when you're small, it does actually make you look a lot longer and taller than you actually are. And shoes to match that outfit, I think I might go for a new pair of Orans that I picked up. So I picked up these beautiful yellow Oran sandals. They're not lime, I believe they're called something souffle. I think it's souffle. So I love the contrast of the yellow against this beautiful silk scarf. I think it'll just be a great pop of color. I'm not taking that many bags with me because 
I don't I don't know why I'd be carrying a bag at the beach on holiday. Although saying that, I do need to get a beach bag. I was considering taking a Deauville. But my mum is taking hers. I don't have a Deauville beach tote and I've been looking at the newer ones. I might I might just have to get one of those today. I am going to the mall to pick up a few things which I put on hold. Eid is coming around fast and I realized I didn't get my pets anything. So I'm picking up something from Louis Vuitton for Louis, which I'm really excited about. I've been looking for this item for so long. It's been sold out literally everywhere. My sales assistant managed to keep one for me and put it on hold. So I'm gonna go pick it up today. I also picked up a few things from Chanel for my little holiday. This was a while ago and I can already see my sister has been into the bag. This I believe is from, oh, there's money. These are two pieces I really had to have in my wardrobe. Actually, this one's not that relevant. This one is something I had my eye on, but I couldn't get my size in. It is this beautiful little Chanel crop top with a massive bow on the front. Anna Camellia, how adorable. I've seen so many girls on Instagram wearing this and I saw it on the runway show. I didn't actually know what it was. I thought it was just like a bow stuck on. Then the woman explained to me that it's actually a crop top. How they styled it for the show was that they wore a jacket on top and they just pulled the bow out. So it literally just looked like the bow was out coming out of the jacket. And I thought that was really creative and I love that. I might actually stick a big fat brooch. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I just realized. So this camellia is actually removable. It's stuck on with a safety pin. So I might potentially just take this off and stick on a fat Chanel brooch in the middle. I've seen a few people do that and I was like, how do they do that? Now it makes sense. Then this is a piece which I saw and I was kind of like, I kind of have to have it. It is just literally a plain little gray t-shirt, but it's got like this cool tie dye effect to it and it says Chanel on the front. It's got these two little pockets, which are actually pockets and this cute detail on the sleeve of the little Chanel logo. I felt like I just throw this on with a pair of bikini bottoms or a pair of shorts and I'm good to go. Love that. So the little white top was a runway piece, but the t-shirt was not a runway piece. The next item I also got for this holiday, it is not a runway piece, but it is really cute. I'm obsessed with the color. This might be a shock to a few of you, but... Here we have, wow, that's bright. My new little Chanel dress. I haven't actually seen anyone wear this piece, so that's kind of why I gravitated towards it. It is literally the cutest little mini dress. It has these thick straps and these buttons which have Chanel logos on them. It isn't a towel fabric, it's actually knitted, which is kind of strange for spring summer, but I'm not opposed to an, a light knit in spring summer. It's got these faux pockets on the bottom, and it's just so cute. I also love it because it's quite a high neck, it's not super revealing, and it's not really fitted. It is so cute on, and I cannot wait to wear this. I know my sister might die when she sees this, but it's okay. On the topic of unboxing Chanel clothing, I just want to show you guys two other pieces that I picked up previously. I actually unboxed these in my last video, but I will show you the unboxing of that and then I'll show you guys the actual pieces. I'm getting into Chanel elsewhere a little bit more and Chanel clothing a little bit more, so they kindly provide me with hangers. As I previously did Chanel ready to wear unboxing, this is what their packaging looks like. They've got these really cute little dust bags. They're not the most practical to store clothes, but they are pretty practical when it comes to traveling. Just open this up. So here we have a pink and white striped little fluffy number. This is so adorable. I saw this hanging and I just love Chanel elsewhere. I just think it's so beautiful. And I'm getting into pink more. This is so incredible. It's got these beautiful puffy sleeves. I usually wear a size 34. However, I got this in a 36 because I like my jumpers and knitwear to be slightly oversized. I don't like them too fitted because I tend to layer a lot and I love layering. As you can see, the buttons are this beautiful silver color. They've got these tiny little pockets, faux pockets. They're not actually real pockets. You can't put anything in them. It did come with a little cute pair of knitted shorts, high-waisted little diaper shorts. But as much as I really want to wear them, I don't think I'll be allowed out of the house in them. They sent me a few pictures of what was available in my size. And I did have my eye on a particular spring-summer dress from the runway collection, but... They don't have my size in that. 
So, yeah. This might be a little shocking to people who have been on this channel for a while. You're probably thinking, what's happened to this girl? There's more color. It's actually a top which had a matching skirt. This is from the Runway collection. It is so beautiful, but because it's got buttons going all the way down at the back, I'm actually gonna wear it both ways. What I love the most are the fine details of this piece. It's got these stunning mother of pearl buttons with the Chanel logo all the way down. It's not really thick knit, so I feel like I can get away with this in spring, summer. When I showed my mum what I bought, she was kind of like, why are you still buying knitwear? This is what Chanel's saying is spring, summer, so we are are gonna make it spring summer so as you guys saw i unboxed these two little jumpers this is a cute little cardigan very similar to this in fact they're the exact same fabric we'll also be packing this piece because i think it's important to have at least one jumper slash hoodie comfortable clothing item to take with you on holiday i feel like one outfit people really underestimate is their travel outfit although i'm being driven a few minutes down the road i feel like my travel outfit is key because this is an outfit i'm going to wear twice on the way there and on the way back i don't like packing extra things unnecessarily so i will definitely be wearing just one single outfit which has to be comfortable has to be cozy and has to be cute but i've decided to take these beautiful lily silk silk joggers which i picked up and this is sponsored by lily silk i think i might have to buy these in the other color because i'm obsessed they remind me of a pair of tom fords that i was looking at online there is a tom ford jacket that i do really want to wear with these the tom fords weren't 100 percent silk and these are 100 percent silk so i'll definitely be wearing these because they are light they're airy and they go so nicely with a pair of just my classic black hermes sandals i'll be wearing these and these are also a nice pair of pants to just lounge about in because they are silk they're quite cool and they're not uncomfortable which is perfect i also picked up this beautiful silk and cashmere knitted lightweight jumper it is a short sleeve jumper and it's quite loose fitting which is perfect for spring summer and it's also quite thin which is amazing you can also layer underneath as well as layer over or you can wear it on its own if thin silk cashmere knits are honestly the perfect thing to wear when you live in dubai because outdoors it is so hot indoors it is so cold this is going to be a bit weird for some people but although i am aware that they sterilize each and every room bed compartment nook or cranny in the hotel prior to a guest arrival i'm still super ocd in general about pillows when it comes to hotels so i do actually like to travel with my own pillowcases you guys will know i love a good pillowcase and obviously we're having a pink moment even though this video is sponsored by lily silk and you do get 12 percent off if you use my code bash tv 12 if you don't know this channel was called something else prior but we changed it Lily Silk is a great brand and they offer fast shipping. Their quality is absolutely amazing. Everything, unless stated otherwise, is 100% silk. It just feels magnificent. And the one thing I absolutely love is good quality clothes. I've previously bought from a lot of sleepwear brands because I've bought into the whole brand name and the quality has just been awful. It's really disappointing when you spend a lot of money on something and the quality is just horrific. Oh, I forgot about my other two bikinis. Of course, I'm also gonna be taking the Louis Vuitton bikini, which comes in this little pouch. Love that. I'll also pair that with my black shorts. These shorts go with everything. I also picked up a bikini from Revolve. I don't know where the pants are. I actually wore this tanning the other day. It has matching pants, but it's in this beautiful like banana leaf kind of print. I thought that was really cute. I do love a good banana leaf in summer, especially if it's not Dolce & Gabbana. It's great. We're doing a beach holiday. I hate the beach, but I love a good pool. Fortunately, we have both, a private beach and a private pool. I'm gonna show you guys some of my beachwear. Obviously, I won't be able to model it, but I will show you guys what I got. Missoni is my go-to for beachwear. I just absolutely love the quality. Their stuff lasts for years. I just love the idea of a cohesive Missoni beach look. It's just such a vibe for me. I picked up two new bikinis from Missoni. So this is one. Unfortunately, Missoni are actually doing home delivery, so I didn't actually have to leave to get these. So this is the little underwear for one. And you can actually wear these in the pool. This might be a bit TMI, but I tend to buy smaller bikini tops when I'm going on holiday with family. And by family, I mean just my mother and sister because it's literally just women. So my bikini tops are a little small because who wants tan lines? 
it doesn't cover a whole lot, but it's great. It's only my mum and sister there. I picked up little matching shorts. I can get them altered if need be. I feel like this waist is gonna be a little big, but it's okay. So this basically matches this. It's a little vibe. I think I'm gonna pair these with my gold Hermes sandals. I love how they give you swimwear bags. So for all your swimwear, you can just put it in these little bags. I also think this one's actually my favorite. So this one is multicolored and it has these adjustable ties on the hips. I love an adjustable tie. I think they're so great. I just love the contrast of the striped ties to the colorful stripes on the bikini bottoms. Unfortunately, this didn't have matching shorts, but I'm gonna see if they can get me the matching little cover-up dress thing. This one's obviously a little bit bigger than the previous one, but again, still small. Obviously, I pre-plan outfits. I feel like whoever doesn't pre-plan outfits when they go on holiday is absolutely absurd, particularly when you go for two, three days. I have these little shorts by one of my favorite petite brands. It's actually called Petite. These are great. I have them in black and I have them in white. I've got these to kind of match with this bikini. And it's a beautiful crepey fabric. So it doesn't necessarily have to be worn as like a beach cover up. I tend to actually go out the house in these. And to match this look, I have my all black Hermes Oran sandals, which I've been living in. So that basically summarizes my entire wardrobe that I'll be taking with me and kind of shoes. I don't think I'll be taking sneakers. Do I need sneakers? No. Might also have to take my slippers. I don't, I don't like hotel slippers unless they're like the four season slippers, which are to die for. Pretty much everything is gonna fit into this bag comfortably, excluding my laptop and wash bag, which I'll probably carry in hand. I might take the big Deauville, or I might get the other one that I've had my eye on. I have a few shoe unboxings, which I wanna show you guys, but I'll actually include those in another video. I don't wanna make this video too long, but that's basically excluding this all the things i'm taking on holiday with me i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you check out my instagram give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel tap that bell for notifications every time i upload and check out my other videos i will see you guys soon bye